Today's video is sponsored by Woe Sport. So here we have the Woe Sport WST X01 chronograph. Not just any chronograph, you can connect it to your smartphone. How awesome could that potentially be? And I'll show you why, because I've survived long enough with chronographs without a smartphone. But I'll show you how handy it could be, especially if you're someone like me. Now, as you can see, I have two. Now you know what normally happens when I do a review of a product and I've got more than one. <laughs> Keep watching. So let's take a quick look at the box. Looks very familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> So you have a little instruction booklet which is in English and Chinese. So if I open it from this way, you should see or find that it's all in Chinese. But if I flip it around that way, English, which is pretty handy really. Now although I said you connect this chrono machine to your smartphone, you don't have to. It is a standalone chrono machine. So let's have a look and see what we get in the box before we take out the main machine itself. Now that's handy. You get a nice little tripod and a charging cable. So yes, this is rechargeable. No more buying batteries for your chrono machine. Although I do have other chrono machines that you can use batteries or charge it up, but this one, standalone charging. So let's take a brief look on the build of this thing. So yeah, predominantly made out of plastic, the tube, yep, yeah, plastic. However, the mouth of this chronograph and this silver grey section just inside here, that's all metal, which I would expect it to be because sometimes you do inadvertently shoot the edge of your chronograph. Now I've just removed the protective film and as you can see on the screen there are some marks on there so let's just make sure that this thing works. The rest of the body looks good and then you've got your charging socket at the rear. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna cut the video here, charge this up, and I'll be right back. Oh, and by the way, when you plug this in for charging, your LED light will be red. When it's finished charging, it will turn to green. And when I plug this one in, it only took about an hour before it turned to green. So it's fully charged and as you can see I have it on its little tripod and the good thing about this little tripod is that the legs can extend. Cool, but we don't need them extended right now. When you do get this chrono machine you have a choice okay, of scanning a QR code. You can find that code on the back of the retail box or on the base of the machine. So let's do that now. And there you go, you just download the app. Now we need the app to find the chrono machine. So the first thing to do is to turn it on. And it should appear on this list after I hit scan. And you can see a little flashing Bluetooth symbol on the chrono machine. You select the BLE and you will notice that your Bluetooth symbol is now steady. 
So we have a successful connection. Now, let me give you the first pro as to why having an app along with your Chrono can make life just that little bit easier. Now, if you're familiar with this type of Chrono, so pretty much your Ace Text and your X Cortex, you'll know you'll have various pages, I'll show you now, that you can go through. And then you would have to go through the various sub menus and settings to change things, for example, the weight of the BB and things like, what else? Whether you want it to be feet per second and rounds per second and things like that. You can do all of that very quickly from the app. So watch carefully as I change the weight of the BB, how it changes simultaneously on the chrono machine. So I'm gonna tap down one, you see that? It's gone down to 0 0.19 grams. Let's get in a bit closer and let me do that again. Let me tap it down one more. See, now it's 0 0.18 and it reflects that on the screen. Now, again, that's another bonus and a plus for me with this Chrono machine and app. I've never seen a Chrono machine where you can literally change the weight to absolutely anything. On my normal go-to Chrono machine, the lowest weight it can read is 0 0.20 gram BBs. This bad boy, watch, watch as I keep tapping down. Again, keep an eye on both screens as I change the weight of the BB and look how low I can go. I can do your 0.12s and I can even go <laughs> lower than that all the way down. And you see it's changing on the screen there as I do it here. Now, if I just flip it back, as you can see there, to the 0.12 gram BBs, which industry standard, that would be the lightest in six millimeter BBs, pretty much. And then the next one up that we are all very familiar with is your 0.20 gram BBs. But would you believe this? Look at, look, we've gone way past what we would use in Airsoft. Way past, look at that. It can measure all these weights. Now I'll be here all day if I kept going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back the other way to show you the maximum weight this machine can measure. There now look, we're back down to the lightest weight possible, which is 0 0.01 grams, okay? And if I go down one more, it will revert back to the heaviest. So I don't need to go all the way that way. I can go backwards to see the heaviest weight. And would you look at that bad boy? 20 grams. Oh my gosh. Now on this side of the app, you can see where you can change the size of your BB. So now in Airsoft, again, industry standard, will be six millimeters, but as you know, we've also got eight, and this Chrono machine does beyond, because again, it goes up in those very small increments, as you can see, you can do eight millimeters and beyond. So as you can see, in terms of an Airsoft Chrono machine that we would normally use, this model appears to be a lot more professional. Well, internally anyway, the functions. We'll get back to the externals in a moment. Now, if you were thinking like me in your head that that is really great that it can do all those weights and sizes, but boy, will it take forever to go all the way up and all the way down. No, watch what happens if I give this a little tap. It jumps in larger increments so you can select your sizes from a list. Nice. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a quick drop test just to make sure that it is reading uh, BBs correctly. So I simply grab the Chrono machine, turn it that way. I'm going to drop a BB down there and watch the screen. <laughs> there you go. It's just read that. And the same information appears on your app. Now here's another pro of having an app. Like with any Chrono machine, you can get into the menus, have a search around, and look at the history of all the shots that you have taken through your Chrono machine. With the app, your history appears in a list 
one by one as you fire through the chrono machine. So you don't need to go through any menus, it's just there. So let me do another drop test just to show you. So we've only dropped one BB through it, so there's your first reading. So I'm just grabbing the chrono machine again. I'm gonna drop another BB through. And there's your second one. Let me drop another one through. And there's your third. Double nice. Okay, so let me quickly take you through the menu system on the Chrono Machine. Now again, if you've got an Ace Tech or an X Core Tech, you should be quite familiar with what I'm about to show you, especially the first readout screen right there. The next one should be your history. There you go. And then the next one should be the actual main menu, where you can set things like the auto power shut off, which I think is excellent, especially if you're a YouTuber. Because when I was first filming this a few minutes ago, it kept switching off when I wasn't touching it. That's because you need to go into this and change it to your preference. So for example, I think by default it's on five minutes. I've now got it on 30 minutes, which is awesome. So if I don't touch anything and don't fire anything through it, it will power down in 30 minutes. And let me just quickly show you, you have your basic functions on the top of the machine. You've got your OK button, which is effectively your enter, and your up, down, left and right. So now we need to exit this because it's already highlighted exit. I just need to click OK and we're out. And then you can do cool things like setting the color of the font. So if I click that, look at all those colors I can change it to. So for the purpose of this review, let me just change it to blue. How cool does that look? But you know what? Let's set it back to white because I think that appears a lot more clearer on video. So you also have a memory setting, a unit setting, and that will be your rate of fire speed and things like that. And you can reset the unit back to factory settings with your reset function. Right, let's get down to business. We've already put three BBs through this chrono machine doing the drop test. So that was me literally dropping it through the chrono. Now we're gonna use an Airsoft sidearm, first of all, just to give it a little test. By the way, this is the Elite Force Hater without the orange tip. four, five, and six are the Hater Revolver, and there's your readings right there, 337.8, 345.3, 341, 0.4. So you can see the app and the chrono work together perfectly. Okay, so it's all good and well that this is an awesome little setup right here. The app and the chrono working simultaneously together, reading every BB successfully but let's put something through it with a lot more oomph. And let's see if this can keep up with it. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna use, don't you? Oh! Now, what I've done here is I had 0.25 BBs in this Mac, but I left the app and the Chrono machine set to read 0.20s. It was just a little experiment. I wanted to see what would happen. Now. What has happened, as I expected, it will give a lower FPS reading, as you can see there, but it hasn't read the rounds per second. So now I've got 0.20s in this Mac. Let's see what happens now. Again, watch the screen on the app. It has successfully read the rounds per second. It's a healthy 36 rounds per second, exactly what I expected from the Mac. Nice! Oh, and it gets better. <laughs> Look at what you can do on this app also. So it's not just about the figures there. You've got a nice chart. How awesome. And my initial thoughts on this whole system is absolutely awesome. And naturally, you don't need to have your phone anywhere near 
the chrono machine for them to be linked. It's just like any other Bluetooth device. The only reason why I had it so close to each other was for the purpose of this video. As far as what it does and what you get in this neat package, I love it. I absolutely love the technology used. And as the on-screen graphics earlier on my video suggested, yes, it's not just Android, it will also work with iOS. So let me get back to what I was saying before about the externals. The body of it itself, I have no issues there at all. It's got a nice metal tube right there. Yeah, everything is cool. A little tripod, little rubber feet, no complaints. However, for something that is brand new out of the box, I'm a little disappointed with these little blemishes on the screen right there. Now, I've made sure there is no other plastic covering there, but you know what? It's not the end of the world. And I really mean that. It's not the end of the world because when it's on, you don't even notice that. Maybe I just got unlucky with this particular one. But other than that, if you're not too fussed about the slight blemish here and there for a new unit, <laughs> for the price that you're paying and what you get, I'd be pretty satisfied with this. Now, I know what you're waiting for. What about this one there? I asked Wosport when they reached out to me and said, could I please review their new chrono that comes with this fantastic app? I said, yeah, cool. But I'll only do it if you give me a second one so I can do a giveaway for my viewers. So there will be a giveaway video for this sooner than you think. And only my viewers on YouTube can win this. Not going to be given away on Instagram, not going to be given away on Twitter. It's for my YouTube viewers. So, video coming for this giveaway very soon, I promise you. I'm not going to keep you waiting weeks, okay? Literally days, a video will come out for the giveaway. However, only one person can win this, and I know there's thousands of you out there. So if you'd like to buy one of these, hit the video description where you will see more information of how you can get your hands on one of these bad boys. And guess what? It is not a clone of the Ace Tech. Look, you can see the differences. Even the buttons are placed elsewhere. Thanks again to Woe Sport for sending this out to me. And thank you for watching another Airsoft Mike YouTube video. Mind you, the design of the casing looks exactly the same. <laughs>